leaking fuel. Get them to cut the power fast. The fuel tanks have ruptured. We need this part of the grid shut down now. Oh, come on, come on. Doc, help me. We need to get him out. Come on. Oh. Move. Joss, it's not going to explode. You're a great help out there. What the hell happened? I got the window open. And then left me to get him out. That farmer hadn't have come along. I needed you. Hey, good work getting the pilot out, guys. Go back to the station. Liaise with air transport. We can go together. I'm going to go back with Matt. Are you going to talk about what happened out there? Look, Kel, I hear congratulations are in order. There could be a commendation in this for both of you. Well, it's not like we were in any kind of danger, boss. You weren't to know that, though, were you? Not exactly, no. So, let's not be modest about it. You'll need to get a statement from the pilot for your report. But well done. Yeah, well done. Mr. Harding? I better go. We can give you a few minutes. Nice, go. Let you get on with this. Uh, see ya. We need to get a statement. And no worries. <sighs> You're the ones who dragged me out. Yeah, this is Constable O'Rourke, Peroni. Uh, sounds like I hear beer, mate. Thanks. Well, you should thank Kelly. She's the one who dragged me. Okay. Yeah, you two love. Thanks a lot. Uh, you need a statement. I can give you one for sure. Okay, what happened? I hit the bloody power lines, didn't I? Didn't you see them? <laughs> I saw them all right. Her engine cut out, was trying to put it down in the end paddock, but didn't make it. Any idea what happened to the engine? We can pass it on to Air Transport's accident investigation oh, people. Accident be buggered. It's sabotage. I've been getting these anonymous letters, making threats. What sort of threats? About getting me. Well, looks like they followed through, eh? I'm going to watch you drop out of the sky and spread yourself on the deck like jam. See how the left-hand side of the page prints lighter than the right? That could help identify the printer. Maybe. What's the name of the company? Armstrong, Armstrong yeah. yeah. Crop sprayers. Well, you want to come with me? We'll go have a chat with the owner. Oh, no, I reckon Kelly should go. It's her gig. Fine. Hey, Kel, you want to go to the CI car? I'll give the boss a heads up. Hey, you got a second? I just got a phone call from your flatmate, is it Tony? Mm, yeah. yeah. He said something about back rent. He sounded pretty impatient. Oh, it's just taking the piss. I'll call him later, thanks. Yeah. Uh, Sarge, can you sign off on that property from that shoplifter Kelby picked up yesterday? Yeah, sure. Gentlemen, what can I do for you? This is her. We've been looking for you. Lucky needs some advice. This is my mate Lucky. Hello? What kind of advice? Family stuff. Go on, tell her. She's a great listener. Aren't you, Cece? <laughs> His mum and dad split up. Oh. I was, like, wondering if they could each stop me seeing them. I mean, the other one, you know? So I said we should ask you. I told you she'd help. She's great. Well, without all of the information, it's not a... Rory, what are you doing here? You should be in school. Uh, look, you just needed to... Does the school know you've left? No. But... Uh, I'm just missing out. What's the problem? Well, that's not the point. They need to know where you are. 
Come on. I'll drive you back now. What? No arguments. Can't Susie drive us back? No, she's busy. Come on. Thanks, Susie. I'll talk to you about this later. Go. Hey, no eating in the car, mate. Susie let me. Yeah, well, they're for lunchtime. It's nearly lunchtime now. Don't see why Susie couldn't drive us. Because you're not her responsibility, you're mine. Look, it's just that you can't keep pestering her all the time, that's all. She isn't mine, she likes me, she thinks I'm okay. You think she's okay too, don't you? Susie. <laughs> She's all right, but I only went to the station because Lockie wanted to talk to her. Oh, yeah? And how did he know about her? Mate, it's just that I think um, she's a bit too old for you. Sabotage. That's right. What would make him think that? There have been threats made. Threats? Hmm. Any idea who might be behind them? There was a public meeting about a month or so back. Complaints about drift. Sorry, you've lost me. Spray blowing into other people's paddocks. Not all farmers agree with spray and crops. OK, so some of the anti-spray crowd made threats at this meeting. No, just one in particular. He's been at us for years. Got very hot under the collar. Threatened to shoot the next one of our planes that he saw. Right out of the sky. Marcus Delaney. Yeah, I meant it too. So have you ever fired at a plane? Well, if I had, do you think I'd be stupid enough to tell you? What were you doing near the crash site this morning? I was tending my crop. I saw the bars had come down. If I'd wanted him dead, you think it would have helped to pull him out? Maybe you thought you'd already made your point. Look, I lost my temper. Those bars are justified or overspraying, saying it's wind drift, but it's bullshit. Listen, it's organic farming around here. That means no sprays, nothing. You know, I've seen one of them come too close. I went out, I tried to wave him off. He flies directly overhead and dumps me with insecticide, deliberately. Not the paddocks, me. He was laughing his head off. Gary Harding. Oh, if that's the guy we pulled out of the plane, yeah. Mr Delaney, do you own a computer? Yeah. And a printer? Yep. Well, we'd like to see them, please. Well, if that's the case, I'd like to see a warrant. Delaney might just be angry enough to follow through on his threats. That's your informed analysis, is it? We should apply for a search warrant. There is a little concept called reasonable grounds, Constable O'Rourke. What's your next move? Well, we'll see what air transport have to say. If he did take a shot at the plane, we'll soon know. In the meantime, we'll do background checks on all parties. Talk to everyone at that meeting. Well, keep me informed. We don't want another plane going down. Hey, uh, Susie. Mm -hmm. Sorry about Rory hassling you this morning. Oh, that's OK. You do realise he's got a bit of a crush on you? Yeah, I did pick it. Mm. I mean, I know it's harmless, but anything you can do to let him down gently? I don't think I'll have to do that, will I? He'll soon spot some grade five cutie that he fancies. Uh, can you get that, Kel? Sure. Hi. Hi something that I can do for you? Um, just some background on that uh, shop stealing case I wanted to go over. If that's okay. Sure. Uh, we don't have to talk about it now. I mean, if you're busy, we could talk about it over a drink or something. No, that's that's fine. I'll just get it for you. Okay. Kelly, all right. <laughs> you got me. That was just a lame excuse to ask you out tonight. Tonight's not, not really good. Look, I know things kind of went off the rails last time. It's nothing like that. OK, because that had absolutely nothing to do with us. No, I just... There's just... I have plans. Plans? OK. Well, some other time then. Just give me a call. Um, to remind you of my number. I'll just get that brief. Kel, we were really connecting, weren't we? Yeah. Plans? Just some important stuff that I have to do.
Hello? Yes, Joss, what do you want? What? How long ago? Yep, OK, swing by and pick me up. Why didn't you stop him? You didn't bloody give me enough time to get there, did you? I gave you plenty of time. <sighs> well, anyway, it doesn't matter. We know who it is. We've just got to pick him up now. Oh, great, Joss. We wouldn't have to do that if you had stopped him getting away in the first place. What were you doing in the hangar? I says I was there. We caught you red-handed trying to sabotage another plane. You think that's what I was doing? Do you have another explanation? I wanted to get a sample of the chemicals they're using. I'm trying to sue the bastards. They won't hand over a sample. We've been running a few background checks as part of our inquiry, Mr Delaney. You used to be in the Air Force. So? Well, you probably know enough about planes to have done something to Gary Harding's engine. I'm not a mechanic. Well, what did you do in the Air Force? Nothing I'm proud of. Well, now you've really got me curious. I was a conduit of the Yanks to coordinate the foliation runs over Vietnam. I've got first-hand experience of what these chemicals can do. Well, these aren't the same chemicals, surely. Well, they didn't know what the hell they were spraying in Vietnam. Who's to say these ones were any better? So what you're saying is they have to be stopped, even if that means bringing down a plane, maybe even killing someone in the process. I gave up killing when I quit the Air Force. Mr Delaney's lawyer's here. Mr Murray, your client understands his rights and he's been happy to talk to us. He's admitted to breaking into a hangar at Armstrong Air. You should have let me talk to him first. We believe he may be responsible for the earlier sabotage of one of their planes. Has he made any admissions? No, but I intend keeping him in the cell pending a search warrant application in the morning. OK, can I see him now? I'll show you through. What's the deal? What? Tonight, just letting him run off. I told you I wasn't in position. Crap, you've lost your nerve. I haven't lost my nerve, OK? No. Right. And you don't even have the guts to talk to me about it. Hey. Pulled the midnight shift. <sighs> Looks like it. Harder to say no to your sergeant than me, huh? That's all right. Actually, I've come to ask a favour of you. Keep an eye on my client. Someone needs to. He tried to sabotage a plane tonight. No, you got that wrong. He's not a violent man. Oh, that's right. He was collecting chemical samples. He's sick, Kelly. He's got a brain tumour. I'm sorry, I didn't realise. It was caused by exposure to chemicals. How can you be sure of that? I can't be. Well, not in the sense of having absolute proof. But I believe Marcus. I believe in him. It, it, it's just we spend most of our time defending these scumbag crooks. But Marcus is different. You know, this is someone who's actually worth the fight. Sure. I'll take care of him for you. Thanks. I really appreciate it.
Uh, Cole Berg, Sarge, Beersheba Street, number 17. Joss, could you take Kelly out to get some fresh air, wake her up? Why don't I take the call with Susie? Because I'm sending you out with Joss. I should really keep typing that list of stolen items for the shop stealing brief. I'll go. Suze, you and Matt can take this. Yeah. No worries. So what is it with you two? Actually, I need a cuppa. She's just tired, probably. Comic books. Hmm. I'm a collector. I kept them in here. And most of the most of the comics are sealed in plastic bags. Must make them hard to read. I keep the most valuable ones in a folio like this. So that's what's missing. So why a folio? It's got non-reactive paper. This is so the print doesn't deteriorate. So how many comic books are we talking about? Fifty-three. Uh, do you have a list? Of course. Including their value? <laughs> There's over twenty thousand dollars worth. Well, any idea how they got in? No sign of a break-in. I'd say she used a key. She. My wife. The bus is going to be in any minute. We're going to take it to him. We're going to sort it out now. And don't try and snow me, Kelly. What's going on? I'd rather not get into the details if that's okay. What details? Is this something that's going to need reporting or what? No, it's nothing like that. I just prefer not to be sent out on the road with Joss for a while, just until we get things sorted. All right, just make sure you sort it out quickly then. I can't be tweaking the roster to cope with your personal problems, OK? OK. 20 grand for comics. Whatever gets you through the night, I guess. So oh, 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 sorry. Hi, Susie. Shouldn't you be in school? Yeah, but Lucky forgot his lunch. Isn't that right, Lucky? Yeah, I forgot my lunch. Your dad must have quite a comic collection. Mum reckons that I waste of money. She was always going on about it. So your mum doesn't approve? She doesn't understand comics. Not the way Dad does. It's got some amazing stuff. Tell him. He's got his Green Lantern comic. Not a first Green Lantern. That was in the 1940s. But the second one in the 1960s. It's worth 4,000 bucks. And he's got all the Sandman, Hellblazer, and even some early Silver Surfer. Wow, it sounds like you really know your comics. Not as much as Dad. Where do you reckon a thief would try and sell him? Not too easy. KK. KK? There's a shop in St David's, Comic Connection, it's filled with two Ks. Or there are three or four comic shops in Melbourne that Dad sometimes goes to. So what do we do next? We keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Looks like you've got yourself a couple of junior deputies. Comics. That amount becomes a CI matter. Well, can you run with it? I'm going to be tied up in court all day. Look, we've already talked to the ex-wife. She denies everything. And you believe her? Yeah, she's bitter about all the money her husband was spending on the comics. She's laid claim to half the value of his collection, which would mean he'd have to sell. Well, have you got a list? Yes. Matt's ringing around the dealers now. Good. Amy. Mark Slaney search warrants come through. Thanks. Up, up and away. It doesn't match. He didn't write the letters. Which is what my client's been telling you the whole time. Apology accepted. Fox. You still got my number? Yeah, I won't. I won't be needing it. Right. We can make a time right here and now. Unless, of course, you've changed your mind. No, no, that sounds good. And while we're having that drink, we can make plans for dinner. Yeah, even better. Uh, tonight? Six o'clock at the Imperial? Yeah, perfect. Right. OK. What's going on there? Huh? Bit of chemistry? Oh, no, no. We were just talking about the case. It seems his client's off the hook. Well, I wouldn't say that. But he didn't write the letters. No, but he's still in contention for tampering with the aircraft. 
That was air transport. They've just confirmed that the plane was sabotaged and your Mr Murray's client had the tools, the knowledge, the opportunity and the motive. So, what is it? You haven't made a move on her, have you? Oh, please. So why doesn't she want to be teamed up with you? I don't know. Yes, you do. She thinks I'm not pulling my weight. And she's wrong. Is she? Yes. So why would she even think that? I don't know. She thinks I was a bit slow off the mark yesterday when we had to go and rescue that pilot. Were you? No. You gonna pick that up? Look, I was just trying to get the electricity guys to switch off the power to those lines. All right, fair enough. But you better set Kelly straight then. <laughs> I've tried. How's it going with the property book? Getting up to date. Good, because there's a few things I want to check out. Come on. That box up there, stolen property. Got it down, will you? Uh, actually, no, sorry, wrong one. Right, let's put it back. Right, come on. What's the story? I just pulled the muscle. It'll be right in a day or two. Dragging the pilot from the plane? Yeah, it must have been that. So you're covered by work cover? Make an appointment with the doctor, get a certificate? No, 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 I'll just finish doing this. <laughs> yeah, look, I admire your dedication, Joss. Now go call the doctor. Found something you might be interested in. More information on Gary Harding. The pilot? I checked with air transport like you suggested. He has had a previous accident about five years ago. Dug up the details and... An air display. Mm, stunt flying at the local air show, doing crossovers with another plane. I dug up the newspaper report. They clipped wingtips. Harding managed a rough landing. The other guy crashed and died on impact. Harding was cleared after an investigation, but the dead guy's brother sued him in a civil action. And... Got thrown out. Hmm. The brother made threats in court. Mm, so Marcus Delaney wasn't the only one who had it in for Gary Harding. Great work, Kelly. I'll follow this up. I'm really all right. Hmm, I can see that. So how did you get these? Uh, it's just a bit of bruising. A bit? How did it happen? Resist the rest. He must have put the boot into you, did he? Yeah, they did. There were two of them. I'll get on to radiology. You need x-rays. I've got a cracked rib. She strapped it up and said it'll be all right. Did she? Mm -hmm. That's funny, because it uh, doesn't say that anywhere here. She sent me her report. Two broken ribs. Who's counting? Extensive deep bruising due to an assault. Now, what assault would that be, Constable? Alex, it's no big deal. Okay. What happened? <sighs> Look, I went to the Imperial, I had a few drinks, and on my way home I had a bit of a fight, OK? Who with? Just some big guy. Well, that's the description? Look, I don't know, all right? He was 185, 190, I'm not sure. Distinguishing features? <sighs> I didn't get a good look, it was dark. All right, so what was this fight about? Well, that's the funny thing, he just came up to me and started whacking me. So let me get this straight. Some big guy, mm -hmm. who you didn't really get to see that clearly, just beat the crap out of you for no reason at all. Something like that, yeah. Kelly. No arguments, thanks. I want you to drive Joss home. Me? Why? Because he's injured and unfit for work. You're an idiot, Peroni. Thanks. For not telling me you were hurt. We're supposed to be a team. I thought that was all down to Danny now. Yeah, only because I thought... No, it's not. But next time, tell me if something's wrong. How'd you get hurt? Doesn't matter. It didn't happen during work hours, anyway. 
Because that's why he couldn't help me out the plane. Hoping that window was excruciating. It felt like I was going to pass out or something. And why you were so slow getting to the back of the hangar. Look, I wasn't that slow, OK? Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm just glad you were hurt. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean, I really thought that you'd lost your nerve. You know, I just... Never mind. Are you right, Grandpa? You want me to get you the walking frame? Start. Tony! Tony, what are you doing? Joss. Joss, don't go inside. Don't do anything stupid. Joss! Joss. They've changed the bloody locks. Tony! My life is stuffed. I've been beaten to a pulp by my... Some heavy guys who I owe 10 grand to and I can't give them the bloody 10 grand because I'm so broke I can't even pay my bloody rent. And now I, I don't even have a place to bloody live. You look pleased with yourself. Blew some cobwebs out. And Joss got home OK? Not exactly. He's no longer at that address. If I was to guess, I'd say that he left his place because of a disagreement about the rent, right? Um, you'd have to talk to him about that. Right. But this is about money, yeah? Is he in trouble? I'm not really in a position to say. You'll have to speak to him. You see, that's what really gets me about Armstrong Air. Yeah. They're not spraying illegal substances, just illegal concentrations. It's more economic, less flying times, quicker. More lethal deliveries, much more lethal side effects. Pretty shifty if it's true. Well, it's hard to prove without getting a sample from the tanks. Which he claims he was trying to do. We, we really shouldn't talk about this. It's moving into active investigation territory. Sure, fair enough. Still, that could be so useful. What would? Well, to test his claims that he was just trying to get a, a sample of an illegal chemical concentrate. Right, but if I had a sample... I'm sorry? Well, they won't let me anywhere near the hangar. You want me to get a sample for you? OK, Kelly, you're in the perfect position. Not, of course, if it were compromised. Is that why you asked me out? No, of course not. Are you just trying to play me? How far were you going to take this? Get out! Everything all right? Just no, 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 don't mean... say another word! Get out! Never. Now! Something stronger? Yeah, a vodka. You have no idea what he just asked me to do. It's men. It's all they think about is sex. <sighs> Finally, that was all. That's all we need. How long was he supposed to be off? Uh, a couple of days at least. Doctor's orders. They're pretty bad. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be taking it easy. Oh, I'm okay. Really. I can handle light duties. What have you done to yourself? Just a little accident. Got a cracked rib. I did a night surveillance once with two broken ribs. Light duty, see how he goes. Exactly how did you get these injuries? Alex. Because now you're telling the boss it was an accident. <sighs> yes, I just didn't want to get into it. Because I have a theory, and you can stop me if I'm wrong. It's about big hairy creatures with four legs, not running as fast as you expect them to. And then big hairy creatures with two legs beating the crap out of you when you can't come up with the money that you bet on the four-legged creatures. Am I ringing any bells? Kelly told you. She didn't tell me anything. But you just did. Mate, if you've been assaulted, it's a serious matter. We have to take it to the boss. No, no, please. Well, we can't just ignore it. It was my cousin Mick, OK? Your cousin did this? Yes. 
He lends money and I borrowed ten grand off him. Oh. And yes, I spent it on the ponies. And now he wants his ten grand back. Mate, you can't let him get away with assaulting you. Look, it's bad enough already without me getting my cousin arrested. Please. Yeah, it's just in this one. Hi. Rory. What's he doing here? Uh, he's got some information about the comic book caper. All case. Sure. Uh, well, I can come in. It's and okay, Dad. She's not interviewing me. I'm helping. That's all. I'm a deputy. Come on. So he said to me, five bucks. Only it's an original Spider-Man. And I'm thinking, wow, he mustn't know what it's worth. So this guy is selling the comic books at your school? Just around the corner, yeah. Did he sell any to anyone else? Don't know. Could ask around if you like. Yeah, might be an idea. You didn't buy one, did you? Be great evidence. No, I didn't have the five bucks. So, what did this guy look like? He was big, like fat, with one of those little beards and a ponytail. Blue t-shirt, he was sort of nerdy. Goaty, ponytail, fat, nerdy. Sounds like the comic book guy from The Simpsons. Right, thanks. Anything useful? Uh, yes and no. Look, he only wanted to talk to me, not Matt. But the information that he gave me, it just it didn't sound quite... Kosher. Look, I think he might have created a situation where he can help us, me, to solve a case. He might not be such a harmless crush after all. You think he stole the comics? Better go talk to him. Oh, look, it's probably better if I do that, don't you think? All right. The Simpsons? Yeah, the comic book guy. Sounds a lot like him, this man. Well, maybe, I guess. So I was wondering if... if you might have made him up. Why? Why would I do that? I don't know. Uh, you might have thought it would be fun to help me out on a case. You know, like the boy detective. Except maybe if there wasn't a case, you might create one. You think I took them? You think it was me? Rory, if you did... I didn't. It wasn't me. It wasn't. Rory! Leave me up, Warren. Susie, you wait. Lucky. Where is he? I used to collect Daredevil when I was a kid. An X-Men. Probably should have kept him, eh? Nothing like these. This is 20,000 bucks worth. Yeah, well, we can return them now. I'm sure Lucky's dad will understand. You think I took him too? It's all right. We all make mistakes. He didn't take them. I did. Why? So Mum wouldn't get them and sell them. And my dad really loves those comics, and so do I. When Jeff Carlton's got his comics back. Mm, until his wife gets half of them as part of the divorce settlement. No, that's not going to happen. Like his mum never realised how important they are to the kid. Well, she's taking them off the negotiating table? Mm. Oh, hooray for common sense. I think Rory's pretty mad at me. Do you want me to talk to him? No, I'll do it. It's father's job. Yeah, okay? It's hard. The growing up thing. Sometimes. 
Oh, I can't remember how many times I've had my heart broken. Should all be squidgy bits. I don't know. Somehow it just keeps pumping. She's a last all. And so did I. But we're really glad we're both idiots. I did make up the man. She must watch the Simpsons. How cool is that? You know, sometimes it's hard growing up, but then sometimes it's just as hard being a grown up. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you really like someone, but you're just too old for them. But I'm sure she'll get over it. Just back off, you know? Let her down gently. Yeah, I wouldn't want to upset her. I know. You're a good kid. Kelly, that research paid off. The stunt pilot's brother still lives in the area. We traced him to an address in St David's. That's his? Yeah, he got a warrant. He wasn't home, but his landlady let us into his room. And the printer's signature matches. Faint on the left. Excellent. It gets better. According to his landlady, he's about to show up in Mount Thomas for basketball practice. You want to come? Mr Tully? Yeah, what's the problem? I'm senior Detective Fox. This is Constable O'Rourke. We need to have a chat. I'm late for basketball practice. If you could just step out of the car, please. OK. Just give me some room. The landlady never mentioned the wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good trick. Sabotage a plane. What did I do? Bring my own forklift to get up to the engine. Or maybe I parachuted down from a skylight. Do you mind if we just stop and ask you a few questions? I'm late. What are you going to do? Wheel clamp me? Did you write those threatening letters to Gary Harding? It was therapy. As you can see, I'm not exactly in a position to act on any threats, much as I'd like to. Why? Your brother's death was an accident. Harding was almost killed too. <laughs> yeah, the court said it was an accident. Those guys work in millimetres. They know exactly what they're doing. And the court forgot one very important thing. Which was? That Gary Harding was screwing my brother's wife. This is crap. I thought you'd gone after that greeny poof to farmer for this. Well, we're looking at all possibilities, Mr Harding, and one of those is the fact that you have a bit of a reputation as... a ladies' man. <laughs> no jealous husbands on the radar at the moment? No, no jealous husbands. I go after that farmer. What about the woman that was in here the other day? Uh, Sharon. Sharon who? Armstrong. She's the boss's wife. She's worried I was going to sue, that's all she cares about. They were holding hands. Something's definitely going on. Talk to the Armstrong's neighbours, see what they have to say. Yeah, that's right. There was a removalist van outside. Sharon's moving out. <laughs> I'm not denying it. Did the breakup have anything to do with Gary Harding? <laughs> and the one before that, and the one before that. Look, I'm past caring, OK? You can have her. I put it to you that you did care, that you sabotaged the plane just before Gary Harding took it up. <laughs> right. Except that Gary was never supposed to go up in the thing. It was a last-minute substitution. So who was supposed to fly it? I was. Me. You think that I tried to kill my husband? Hmm. And you would have succeeded if he hadn't been called away to a meeting. This is ridiculous. What would I know about sabotaging a bloody plane? Maybe this would help. The uh, service manuals that have gone missing from your husband's workshop. We found them in the back of your car. Air Transport concluded that the engine failed. Something about there being water present in the oil tank? I don't know what you're talking about. And then something called the breather pipe was blocked with a cork. It did the trick. Mm, absolutely. Ten minutes in the air and then the engine seized. Air Transport reckons there's fingerprints on the oil cap. He kicked me out of the house. I wanted to make him pay. But he wasn't the one who picked up the tab, was he? Mr Armstrong? We just wanted to let you know that your wife's been remanded in St David's. Fine. Now I know. Excuse me? Um, do you think it's possible that Mr Delaney is ill because of the spray? You know what? I don't really care. 
If the stupid bastard keeps getting in our face, then we'll spray him again and again. Until he learns how to mind his own business. Face. Kelly, I don't know what to say. I wouldn't drink that. Might make you sick. Thank you for seeing me to my door, kind sir. Ever gallant, that's me. Uh, unless I'm invited in, of course. Well, I would, but there's kind of a complication in my life at the moment. Right. Someone else? No, 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 just a, a complication, a kind of annoying complication. You'll get them to cut the power fast. The fuel tanks have ruptured. We need this part of the grid shut down now. Oh, come on, come on. Doc, help me. We need to get him out. Come on. Oh. Move. Joss, it's not going to explode. You're a great help out there. What the hell happened? I got the window open. And then left me to get him out. That farmer hadn't have come along. I needed you. Hey, good work getting the pilot out, guys. Go back to the station. Liaise with air transport. We can go together. I'm going to go back with Matt. Are you going to talk about what happened out there? Look, Kel, I hear congratulations are in order. There could be a commendation in this for both of you. Well, it's not like we were in any kind of danger, boss. You weren't to know that, though, were you? Not exactly, no. So, let's not be modest about it. You'll need to get a statement from the pilot for your report. Well done. Yeah, well done. Mr. Harding? I better go. We can give you a few minutes. Nice, no, go. Know. Let you get on with this. Uh, see ya. We need to get a statement. No worries. Oh, you're the ones who dragged me out. Yeah, this is Constable O'Rourke, Peroni. Uh, sounds like I hear beer, mate. Thanks. 
Well, you should thank Kelly. She's the one who dragged you. Uh, you too, love. Thanks a lot. Uh, you need a statement. I can give you one for sure. OK, what happened? I hit the bloody power lines, didn't I? Didn't you see them? <laughs> I saw them all right. Her engine cut out. was trying to put it down in the end paddock. But didn't make it. Any idea what happened to the engine? We can pass it on to Air Transport's accident investigation oh, people. Accident be buggered. It's sabotage. I've been getting these anonymous letters, making threats. What sort of threats? About getting me. Well, looks like they followed through, eh? I'm going to watch you drop out of the sky and spread yourself on the deck like jam. See how the left-hand side of the page prints lighter than the right? That could help identify the printer. Maybe. What's the name of the company? Armstrong, Armstrong yeah. yeah. Crop sprayers. Well, you want to come with me? We'll go have a chat with the owner. Oh, no, I reckon Kelly should go. It's her gig. Fine. Hey, Kel, you want to go to the CI car? I'll give the boss a heads up. Hey, you got a second? I just got a phone call from your flatmate. Is it Tony? Mm, yeah. yeah. He said something about back rent. Sounded pretty impatient. Oh, it's just taking the piss. I'll call him later.